Hi folks. So, over the weekend, Disney held their Destination D23 event here in Orlando at Disney's Contemporary. So I thought we would look over some of the updates here pertaining to Orlando. So, so I'm just reading over the list from the Disney Parks blog here and well, the first kind of minor announcement that we got here is that the uh, Figment meet and greet at Epcot would be opening the next day, which was this past Sunday the 10th. Just kind of a minor little update there and not really the Figment news that we were probably hoping for. Um, but we can still hold on to hope that maybe they will announce something better and finally give him some love, please. I'm still waiting for more news on the Figment movie that was supposed to be in the works with Seth Rogen. And I was hoping that after that would be done, that finally the attraction would get some much deserved attention that it's been neglected for all this time. So another big thing that was announced was over in Animal Kingdom, the kind of uh, dilapidated Dino Land area is looking at an Encanto and Indiana Jones themed re-theme, which is also kind of interesting and the Indiana Jones thing was something that I know a lot of people were talking about and kind of rumoring. Um, the Encanto thing, I don't really know where that came from, you know, other than IP. Um, so they're talking about kind of a South Central America inspired area, um, which I can see in the geography sense, but how is this fitting in with the animals? And then, yeah, the Indiana Jones thing, again, with the animals, how, um, the reason this was rumored is because, um, the dinosaur attraction that is currently there utilizes the same ride system and track as the Indiana Jones attraction at Disneyland. So, I guess it's an easier reskin, but if we're sticking to theming, then I don't really see how this fits. But then again, it seems like we're kind of throwing theming out the window these days, so I guess what does it really matter? And then the other thing, a lot of people were saying that they thought Zootopia was going to be brought in here, and well, it was not brought into its own land, it is replacing the It's Tough to Be a Bug show in the Tree of Life at Animal Kingdom. So then moving back over to Epcot, there's something else that kind of really came out of left field, especially for me. And that's that Test Track is once again being reimagined um, and it's going to be taking cues from the original World of Motion. This is something that I'm sure nobody was expecting, especially considering what they're doing with Epcot right now. And also considering that Test Track I think is probably the last thing before this whole last update. Um, probably the last thing in Future World that got a major upheaval like this. So it's kind of surprising that they're doing something with it again. I don't know why maybe they felt the need to do that. Um, but I guess if they were going to, it kind of makes sense to do it now, now that they have Guardians of the Galaxy on that side of the park as well. Whereas before, kind of Test Track and Soarin' were really your only e-tickets, so now they kind of have another option. Um, it just, it really shocked me that they're trying to kind of go back to something from the original Epcot days. Definitely welcome, I'm not complaining at all. Um, that seems like it has a lot of potential, it's just very, very surprising that they're going in this direction. And also that they're redoing Test Track for a third time when they're still leaving Journey into Imagination sitting in the other corner of the park crying, weeping in the corner. They're also premiering for Epcot a new nighttime spectacular called Luminous in the same style of the previous Harmonious. Um, seems to be kind of similar to Harmonious without barges from what I can tell. <laughs> and then as some of you may know, the new Moana Journey of Water has been open for cast previews recently and the opening date for that has been announced as October 16th. And then they also announced that, go figure, there's also going to be a Moana meet and greet alongside it. Then they announced this new Pirates themed lounge that's coming to Adventureland that's supposed to expand on the Pirates story and bring back the Barker Bird animatronic that previously sat outside the attraction but has been gone for some time now. It's supposed to return in this lounge tavern experience 
and that is all that they gave us regarding that. Then another kind of surprising, but you could probably see it coming announcement, was the retheming of the Country Bear Jamboree, which is now going to feature the bears performing classic Disney music in a Nashville style, and they are apparently have worked with some authentic Nashville musicians to try and get an authentic sound for this, which is pretty cool. Um, I guess no longer are the days of whooping little Buford and blood being on the saddle, so a little disappointing, but I think we can move on. <laughs> and all of the original bears and everything all seem to be staying in place, just, you know, a little bit of a lighter, less uh, violent theme. <laughs> And then another announcement is that the Hatbox Ghost coming to our Haunted Mansion on the East Coast will be arriving sometime in late November. I know there's been a lot of discussion about this as well, uh, being that it's going to be appearing in the Endless Hallway scene, which a lot of people are saying doesn't really fit story-wise. Some other have said that it fits more now with the new movie that's come out. Really, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see how it's presented. I can see how it could fit if they decide to tie it in with this new movie and make a tie in there. Um, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see how that's presented. And then really the last kind of minor announcement is that Ahsoka from Star Wars Ahsoka is going to be appearing in Star Tours in all three locations, both here and in Paris and on the West Coast. A couple of things that I forgot to mention is that Epcot's World Celebration will be opening this December, and that they also alluded again to the Beyond Big Thunder Mountain thing that they began to reference last year, saying, hey, things could go behind Thunder Mountain, what could it be? I don't know. Well now they're saying that it is going to happen on the scale of Galaxy's Edge and Pandora, but once again did not say what it could be or will be, just that it is apparently now going to happen. So that was all really uh, for Orlando. Really the most major things I think, for me anyway, is the Test Track re-theme and the Animal Kingdom re-theme. Um, I really don't know how I feel about that Animal Kingdom thing, because again, um, where are the animals? <laughs> the new test track I did not see coming at all, and I'm pretty excited for, especially because at a Destination D23 like this, usually don't get a whole ton of major stuff, so this was something that was pretty exciting to see and definitely a highlight. And then obviously next year we'll be looking forward to the expo to see what they have for us come next year. Personally, I'm just desperate to see Epcot without construction walls and hopefully back in some semblance of uh, what it's supposed to be. And so that's it. Let me know what you think, what you would have liked to have seen, what you're wishing you would see more of, and uh, maybe something you're hoping for at Expo next year. Whenever they finally decide to update Figment, I will be happy. <laughs> as long as they don't touch living with the land. Thanks for watching, y'all. I am trying to branch out a little bit and I'm still going to stick to the types of things that I've been doing previously, but I'm just trying to kind of go out and explore new things. And I've definitely really wanted to do some more things where I kind of talk about things that I'm interested in. So, you know, I am, uh, as a Florida native, I am into the, uh, into the Disney park stuff. Um, maybe some Beach Boys stuff, a couple, maybe uh, some some movies and TV shows that I've seen that aren't being touched on very much here on YouTube, so I'm trying to branch out and uh, see what else I can cover, and um, I'll be back with more stuff. Thank you very much. See you later.